Hello, Heart of Mary. Faith can move mountains. Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. Jesus said to them, Because of your little faith, amen, I say to you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. This past week, my husband and I traveled to Bryce Canyon and Zion in Utah, and much of the surrounding area, which was glorious and majestical. Standing in the midst of God's creation, this song kept going through my head all week. Majesty, worship His majesty. Unto Jesus be glory, glory and honor and praise. Majesty, kingdom authority flows from his throne unto his own, his anthem raise. So exalt, lift upon the name of Jesus. Magnify, come glorify Christ Jesus the King. Majesty, worship his majesty. Jesus who died, now glorified, King of all kings. Jesus who died, now glorified, King of all kings. Consciously leaving for vacation, I wanted to leave it all behind. It, for me, is feelings of sadness with what's going on in the world. It, for me, is anxiety, which is something that I live with every day. It, for me, is fear, fear for the future for my grandchildren. It, for me, is concern with things that are happening within my church, the church that Jesus Christ built himself. Leaving it all behind and seriously getting off the grid for a week, no cell phone service, nothing to distract us but God's creation all around was just what we needed to replace all those feelings with beautiful peace. It was truly soul fulfilling. One of the things that made this trip so uplifting was not only just leaving everything behind, but also to just not really have too many plans within our day and just get out and explore God's beauty. I say this over and over, God's beauty, God's creation, because that's truly what it is. Even the pictures we took didn't do it justice to what it really looked like. For me, it was a great reminder of how God can do anything that we don't have to doubt because God is in control of everything. Those mountains that we stood on have been there for over a million years. Let me give you a little taste of what we saw. So we set out to do our first hike in Bryce Canyon and we came across a trail called Wall Street. It wove down and down and down thousands of steps onto the bottom floor of these magnificent mountains and sculpt rock sculptures. And um, we, it was just a no-brainer. It was like it called our names and we just started trekking down and people would remind us as we were heading down, for every step you take, you have to take just as many steps or more to get up on the other side. It didn't even concern me. I felt complete peace in what we were doing. What we saw on the bottom floor was truly awe-inspiring. Part of us wanted to be really scared because we thought, oh my gosh, what if an earthquake happens? But part of us stood there in God's beauty, just taking it all in. I realize that not every one of us has the opportunity to get out these days and to be able to explore things the way we did this past week, but I am truly thankful for every moment that we had to do this. 
So I encourage the rest of you who are feeling shut in to just sit behind your computer, sit behind your TV, and look for things that are truly awe-inspiring, things that move us just the way that our faith moves mountains. Reflect on God's majesty in every beautiful thing that you discover. In the midst of sometimes our despair, it's hard to see his beautiful holy face, but we can find him in the beauty that he created all around us. The beauty of God can be found in the faith that we see in each other. Each one of us is his perfect creation. Peace be with you, my friends. And may the love and peace of Christ show you his beautiful face and all creation all around you. Bye, everyone. Have a beautiful day.